Hi, this is Ushio, and this is Tribal Hunter. Okay, so I did a vote on the channel, and you guys voted. There was a couple of options, some murder mysteries, some spooky horrors, and then there was this game. It's a, a pixel 2D platformer, but it's, it's hard to... Okay, here we go. You understand exactly what it is that I'm trying to get around delicately. Okay, so it's... It's a game where you jump around, and I guess by messing around with the size of your own body, you can figure things out. I don't know, but apparently the game is good, so we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go new game, and obviously there is a there is an area of certain areas of fandom that is a bit more into this than other people. But you can also play it as a normal game. So if you just like accept the weirdness, get over it quite quickly. And we can play this game like regular, regular people. It's just like Kirby. Yeah, it's just like a Kirby game. We'll go with that. But okay. Ancient spirits, heed my call. Come here, that broken tribe. Are we going to have a summon up? It's been a week. Still nothing. This tribe is being abandoned. Yeah, seems that way. My family and I are planning on moving to another island. We should do the same. There isn't enough protection here. Yeah. Day after day, we get ransacked by thieves. Okay. So we're trying to summon something up? Yeah. Nothing happened, though. Again. Oh, man. It's late, Shaman. You should go get some rest. No. I can't go yet. Spirits, please don't leave us. Oh wow, you're just dragging him away. Gotta accept reality that it's not working. Okay. But we know it's not gonna be that simple, is it? Okay, so this, what, little girl is it? With a cuddly toy, spirits, please help my grandpa. I offer only my doll. It's all I have to offer. Please accept this in return for aid. I know it isn't much. But it's something valuable to her. So it's, it's a real sacrifice. It's a, it's a rainy day. Impressive the fire's still going with all this thunder and lightning. Oh. Okay. Okay, I can move around. So, oh, okay. I was like this spirit thing. And I've got into the doll. <laughs> Alright. I think this is us. It worked. The summoning worked. Oh. What's... what's that? I've never seen a creature like that before. He looks kind of cute. I knew it. My prayer got answered. Guardian's here. That's the Guardian. Is it really? I guess I was expecting something more cool and powerful looking, you know, quiet fool. You got no idea how powerful this being is. Guardian, are you ready to save the village? Huh? Sleeping. Oh, what is this place? It talks? Oh, of course. Great Guardian, please help our village. Hmm, I can try. I guess that's why I got summoned here. What should we call it? Can I call him Munch? That's the name of my doll. Oh, I like it. Okay, so that's the name of the character we're Munch. Oh, how you feeling? You might need some help discovering some of your potential. I'll set up a small training course to teach you the basics. Talk to me, if you feel confident enough to skip it. I do not, but let's go for a, a jumpy around. So that is some nice jumping. I don't know the controls actually. There are many dangers in your path. You can press punch by pressing the G. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm using a controller. But that, that seems to work. I can go down. This this is fine. How, I can eat stuff. No, that's... that's. Uh, if I crouch, I'm like this. Wait. You have the spirit of Devara. Hold J to inhale nearby food. I am Kirby. Okay. Okay, now I'm big. We knew... We knew coming into it, it's this, this kind of game, but it's fine. You can use stored fat for spells. 
Pressing shift will toggle through possible spells. Holding H will begin aiming the spell. Wait. So that's eating. How how do I? Oh, I just I just killed a guy. He he is he actually proper dead? I guess I'll eat him then. <laughs> okay. So I can oh, I can aim. It's like Yoshi. So hang on. Give, give me that egg back. No, I want that egg back. No. There we go. I can. That's it. Kill the bees. I'm not sure what I'm trying to do. You can sit to digest fat and restore health. Okay. Holding H will heal much more instantly. But only if you have enough fat. Sitting near an auto will save your progress and refresh entirely. So if I just want to chill, I can just crouch. And that's fine. And that is a restart point. How does that work? Okay, I just got to sit there. That's fine. To interact with people or objects, press J, which is... I don't, I don't want to punch her. I don't want to eat her. What button do I... No, I don't burp on her. Oh, it, it is the inhale button. Hey, how was it? Wasn't that hard? Right. Let's go to town, where you can start your journey. I kind of know what I'm doing, but no, I don't know what I'm doing. Hello. Welcome to my village. You're here to save us, and we're here to guide you. May your reincarnation be most beneficial to all of us, Guardian. Village, threat, the girl. Why? Let's talk about the village. This village has been here for generations. We've always treated this island and its resources fairly. Now, though, someone wishes to see it bled dry. For what reason, I cannot say, but we must defend ourselves from them. Okay, the threat. Many threats endanger the villagers and our access to resources. The village guards will share their knowledge of our foes with you if you ask. I'm sure their concern is the rapid expansion of the pigs at the moment. And the girl? The girl that offered her doll as your vessel is my granddaughter. Is it Yisia? She may be young, but she's wise. I'm sure she would love to help you in any way she can. Bye! So if I sit here, that's my checkpoint. What's this? Episode 1? Oh, we can watch TV! So what's on TV? Some kind of cartoon about a cow that got hit by powers and went super saiyan. Or is it a hippo? I think it's a cow. And it can fly. I can't fly. Somewhere in the world lies Holstein City. Its citizens suffer under the evil Wolfen clan and the debilitating lactose intolerance. The clan is led by an evil scientist named Dr. Sharptooth. Dastardly and cunning, he plots to rule with an iron grip. His influence even reaches the outer farmlands where the cows are stolen and dairy products are pillaged. However, despite the hopeless situation, only one brave cow stands out amongst the crowd. Moo. Okay, if only I had the power to fight against them. Then suddenly a miracle happens. Do you seek power? What? I'm the ancient spirit of a legendary cow. If you allow me, I can combine with you to grant you mighty powers to fight your enemies. Anything for peace. I admire your courage. Now be ready. Was this transformation successful? Can Super Cow save the city? Find out in the next episode. That is a lot of animation for such a small little part of this game. Okay, hello. Wow. I can still hardly believe that you're real. It's like a dream. Feel free to ask me anything. Okay, so this is Yisya. Wow, can't believe you're real. You look exactly like my old doll. Thanks for summoning me. I'll do my best to restore the village. I'm so glad my granddad's effort wasn't in vain. My name's Yisya, and I'll try to help you out as best I can. I can make more dolls in case your current form falls apart. I try not to fall apart. Tell me about the village. This village has existed for generations. The island itself used to be a very popular tourist destination. Merchants and travellers would pass through and bring more eccentric vibes to this place. Unfortunately, selfishness has taken hold of the other factions here. It's difficult to trade and sustain a population now, but that's why you're here. Okay. There aren't any more permanent residents anymore, but we cherish those that we have. My family coordinates most of what the village does. Grandpa is the head shaman, my brother runs the farm, and my sister handles construction. Grandma runs our only restaurant. She's usually out hunting and gathering in the piglins. Hmm, well, we also have a small artist guild. The artists enjoy painting helpful advice. Ask them about it if you see them. The guildmaster also creates all of our beautiful dyers. She's out doing field research. I think she was also looking for special glowing crystals or something. Tori is our courier and transportation. I don't know where he could have gone. 
I haven't seen him in a few days. He must be in the piglins somewhere though. Gordo lives on the western beach and used to give water transportation to tourists. I wish I knew how to get him to offer rides again. And lastly, that old lizard man. He showed up shortly after you came to be. He must be more than a mere drifter. Perhaps he knows more about you than us. Oh, this guy. And I think that covers the residence. Okay, bye. So I should probably talk to that lizard dude, but maybe I should explore. Can I eat the flowers? No, what What am I doing? Nice, nice punch. But honestly, this is some of the nicest pixel artwork I've seen in a very long time. And it is pretty damn smooth. Wait, no. Oh, this place is big. This place is big. Hang on. Let's talk to Lizard Man first. Hello. Hey, long, young one. How can I be a service? Okay, what are my powers? Refreshing yourself, are you? Consuming food or defeated enemies will grant you stored fat. Usable items such as milk will grant you this as well. You could use this as a resource to shoot fire or explosive eggs. You could also convert this into healing by sitting. Using your fire while seated will rapidly consume fat for quick healing in a pinch. It's very important to manage your resource and internal capacity though. Maintaining safe levels will keep you stable. How do I improve? As you defeat foes you'll gain a little bit of spiritual power. In layman's terms we call it experience. You can invest this experience into upgrading your abilities or stats. Simply open your ability menu and spend it as you wish. Along your journey, you may even expand the possible upgrades in the menu. Okay, bye. What am I doing? Can I eat that meat? No. Who's this? Bear man. My cows are all missing in the wild. If you find them, can you bring them back? With them, I can imbue you with the greatness that is milk. Okay. I, I need to get somewhere. Here's a dog. I can't talk to the dog. Can yes, I can. Yeah, pet the doggy. That's the cool time. I'm just going to keep going this way. Hello. You're really a legendary guardian? You should have no problem helping us deal with the pig onslaught then. They inhabit the entire area to the east. I guess I'll go east then. Let's let's do some let's do some stuff. Hello. Pig, he's running from me. Why are you running from me, piggy? I mean, I'm only might completely eat you. I mean, I got I could beat them up, but if they're not attacking me... Ow! No! They attack me first! That's it. I've got justifiable calls. Okay, so now I've got murders, but I'll cover up the evidence. That's it. Eat the piggies. Come here. So I'm just kind of like a, a proper... Oh god, what is that? I'm a carnivore right now. I'm eating things. No. What's with the slime? Oh god. I ate it. Oh, now I'm chunky boy. Alright, chunky mode. Let's go. So what's my... Oh, it went down. I must have digested it. <laughs> oh, this game. But it's gonna be like this and we're just gonna have to bear with it. Secret mushrooms. That's it. Capacity up. Hey, sir. You appear to be new around here. Yeah, I was recently summoned here by the villagers. Interesting. I hope your journey here ends up being fruitful. Here's a special tip from me to you. Keep an eye out for mushrooms. See that small one behind you? That means a larger one's nearby. That looks like there's a hidden one in the ledge. I heard they can empower enchanted folks like you. Oh, good to know. Oh yeah, so if you see those mushrooms... There was a big mushroom. I already found it, that's fine. Oh, I can just sit here. Like a... Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit hefty now. But I still seem to move about the same way. So what's that skill that I just got? What skill have I got? Oh god, I can spit it out. Oh, no. I don't know what the slime does. Whatever. I'll just keep going for now. I got questions. Okay, so slime? I don't know. Ow, ow. Okay, so, wait. G give me... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm eating slimes. Piggies. This guy's armed. Armed and dangerous. Have a have a slime. Oh, we blocked it. Have some fire. Change change my skills. Get rid of the slime. I don't want. Get that out of me. I want to use my hot fire. Yoshi eggs will do. No, I'm I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. He's gonna hit me. Wait. I gotta work out these controls. How do I cycle? Or have I used everything? Just to, just beat a guy up. Just beat him. Beat him. Eat him. There we go. 
and you. I'll smash my way through. That's it. Keep eating. I want to get chunky sires. So what happens? Or oh, I, I got an idea what happens if you hit a certain capacity. So at the top left, that's my health, and I'm guessing. Okay, I, I guess I can't do that anymore. Also, oh, the, the slimes an issue. Are the slimes an issue? I actually don't want them. Oh wait, he, he's shooting arrows. Come it no. He's shooting arrows. Whoop him. Whoop, whoop. That's it. I've got to work out how the slimes do and don't affect me. I'm going to eat all these dead people. It's fine. It's expected of me, apparently. And people are happy for me to do it. Keep eating. So is my capacity is 310. Oh, so is the slime... Is the slime like a, a poison thing? It affects my digestion levels. I don't know. Get rid of that slime. I don't want it. These guys are still dead. I, I need to work stuff out. I've got to work out the, the mechanics of this game. Because obviously this is a, a whole factor. The whole eating of stuff and monitoring how much I do or don't eat. But there's got to be a, a strategic element to it as well. Okay, slime. Not sure I want you. Not sure I want you. That's it. Be gone. Be gone. Get in my belly. That's it. That's it. I killed him with a slime. Nice. And run away. Oh, this guy's shooting. Wait. Get rid of this slime. Slime bothering me. Ah. So, I am the invader in this. A lot of these guys don't attack me, and I am the aggressor, and I'm just munching away on them. I'm gonna basically destroy an entire village at this rate. Am I supposed to feel bad? <laughs> at the minute, I'm feeling good about it. It's all good. That's it. So, what's up here? I can smash all this stuff open. Oh, mushrooms. We know what that means. Wait. Wait, I can't get up there. Is it because I need to digest my food? So if I sit and digest, is that how that works? So... That's it, now I'm small again. Does that mean I can jump higher? Okay. Maybe that's not the way to do it, but that's the way I'm doing it. Hop! There we go. That's it. Give me them shrooms. That's what I needed. Oh, is that your meat supplier? Wait, are the pigs cannibals? Have they been eating their own? Oh, I'm... I'm chunky boy now. Proper chunky. Okay. So now I'm even bigger. We knew the game was going this way. We knew the game was going this way. I'm destroying a town. I'm not a big person. I exploded. I exploded. <laughs> I overfilled. <laughs> I am dead. I should probably give that another go. So oh, I'm right back to the village. Okay. So I definitely need to pay attention to the stats and make sure I don't overeat because overeating is obviously a bad time. Can I upgrade abilities? I've got some XP. Oh, so I can do stuff. So, uh, uh, what's that do? Increases magical damage. Can see more fat when casting fireballs but increase their damage sometimes. Or increase my physical damage. Hmm. Increases maximum health. I think I've kind of spent a bit too much already. Anyway. So we're going to try this again. We're going to go in. And maybe maybe I shouldn't eat literally every person I come across. Or everybody back alive though. Everybody survive. I'll take the coins. I will eat this dude. Okay so now I've got. Okay so fighting. Fighting consumes energy levels, so that seems to be the whole thing. I need to eat enough to keep myself alive, but if I eat too much, I'd explode. I still don't understand the function of the uh, the slimes. I think the slimes are just an issue that I'm just going to have to avoid. Piggy. Die. <laughs> Bones and all. Everything. Okay, the mushroom is gone, so that counts. I guess... I guess I can't, I can't kill this person. No, this is a friend. You do not, 
Do you do not kill and eat your friends? It's, it's just not polite, you know? But that is good. So I should be able to get through a bit easier. That's it. Destroy. Destroy. Get him. Get him. Nice. So what's the threshold at which I get larger? I'm trying to I'm trying to learn all these tricks because the better I get at it, the more options I know and what I'm doing. Okay. Yoink. Ignore the slimes. Ow. Nope. Nope. Miss me. Okay. Slimes. I don't believe in my friend. Run, little piggy. Run, little piggy. Okay, so I'm still I'm still regular size, which is which is fine. Oh, that got me bigger. Also, the is it the jellies just fill me up too much, more than what I'm good to be? So that's why I spit him out. Oh, I killed a guy with the slime. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what they do. If you eat a slime, it just gives you too much. So get rid of that. They're they're a problem. I don't need that in my life. Okay, destroy this. I'm slower but more powerful. That's it. Don't try and run from me. That's it, you did. So I think a little bit of farming is not too bad either. I can grab some coins. I'm good to do stuff. Ignore the slime. Slime a problem. That's it. Ow. Yo, punch. Slime's coming. Maybe I should use some powers on it. That's it. Get rid of the slime. No. No! Slime is bad for my health. That's it. Bam, halfway through. Bam, bam, bam. By the way, Happy New Year. <laughs> I forgot to say that earlier. Because, uh, yeah, the, the vote I did for this game was to celebrate bringing in the year. So this is what I wanted. So i got a watch. So as I eat things... That's it. Okay, so I'm full now. I've got to expel something. I don't want to be too big. So, while well, it's very tempting to just kind of like beat everybody up, it's also a bad idea to get too big because I don't, I don't want it. I killed the chef. I'll eat the chef. Oh no, I'm flashing red. It's a problem. Use all my fire. That's it. If I use all that, <laughs> that's it I'm getting smaller now I'm getting smaller now my health is not very good either is he blocking me don't block me that's it very good so at the top left you can see my face I'm not in a good way oh hey how's it going hey nice to meet you hey little buddy who are you I'm an explorer looking for interesting things across the island. My guild is just to the east of here. Go check it out if you're interested in it being an explorer too. Oh thanks, nice. Okie dokie. So this is a save point. Wow, we made it somewhere. Got my health back. So that's something I've not been doing. I think if you crouch, you can kind of replenish your health that way. Oh hey, who are you? All kinds of people. See, Nick, do it. Never doubted you one bit. Great job, keep it up. Yes sir. Who are these people? Okay, I guess we're gonna have a chat. Well, aren't you a rather peculiar one? And that's saying something of the many folks I've seen throughout this wide wondrous world. But I digress. Welcome, new applicant. Huh, <laughs> me? If you're looking for a truly adventurous experience, then you come to the right place, my scaly friend. Many who answer the call of exploration find their way here at some point. Welcome to the Explorer's Guild. Ah, uh, that's the spirit. The name's Shift, and I'm the proud leader of this growing guild you see before you. We're currently setting up our base camp as a centre point for our discovery missions. Our members are scattered across the island, each on their own quest for knowledge. I'm sure they'll be happy to let you pick their brain about features and secrets hidden out in the wild. Well, wow, sounds helpful. I'll keep an eye out. Glad to hear. In that case, I bestow the title of recruit upon you. I know you'll have a wonderful time sharing in our journey of discovery together. I didn't say I'd join yet? Alrighty then. 
Like with previous new recruits, we'll provide cool guild benefits. We offer an explorer's uniform to brave the wilderness. We also offer cartography services to better acquaint newcomers to the layout of the land. Ask our cartographer over there behind you for one before you head out on your quest. A map would be good. Go and make sure you find your way back, you hear? Sure, thanks. You. Hey, sir. Oh, are you the map maker? Yes, sir. I'm the cadet cartographer of the Explorers Guild. I'm still sort of new to the area, but I've already fallen in love with the island, its people, and the local cuisine. I can't stop stuffing myself at all the restaurants, food stands, and cafes. Same, but locals. Anyway, I just finished creating my first draft map of the entire island with the help of our members. I need an explorer like yourself to help give it a field test. All of our maps contain both an overview for direction and also a precise positioning system that points out hazardous foes. Open the map and you can move left and right to switch between modes. I hope it helps you out on your adventure. That seems useful, thanks a lot. No problem, good luck and be careful out there. I got the map. I'm really interested to check that out. So where... This, this is my map. So we are at the bottom left. And there are... Okay. Two out of 15 pigland areas, I think. Hmm. Don't know what I'm looking at here. But I'm sure. Okay, so that's the local map. And this is the world map. So yeah, we're at the bottom left. We're at the Explorer's Guild encampment. But I guess we got to venture further. Anything else we can do? Hello? What do you need? Um, Explorer's attire. Going for a more practical outfit. I'll be more than happy to provide you with one. Let's get you all geared up. Oh wow, I can change my, uh, I can change my costume. On the dress down for now. I'll take the outfit back and give you your regular garb. Thank you, I'll stick with that for now. Hang on, I didn't look at it properly, do I want that? No, I'll go with the standard for now. As the leader of the guild, I make sure every member is given the support and encouragement needed to help them grow into the true brave explorers that they're meant to be. For all it takes is one encouraged spark of positive motivation to really fire up someone's true adventurous spirit. Okay. Support. I provide aid and protection for the guild in case of any potential raids or attacks on the camp. Luckily, this hasn't happened yet, despite the unsavoury characters I've seen lurking around and the more dangerous parts of the forest. I'd advise a word of caution while going out there alone, but you seem more than capable of handling what you find. But do stay safe out there, okay? Okay, points of interest. At the moment, we've gathered some recon info for our current whereabouts. Hopefully this will be of help during your travels through these woods. Recently, I've received a bit of information from a fellow member of ours who's stationed there, as they've discovered a large cave opening at the down path ahead. One which leads to a vast series of unknown caverns. Okay, tell me about the caverns. I've gotten a report from our Faithful of Raccoon Explorer, for he's provided us with some info while near the entrance. We can now confirm it's quite inhabited, as he's heard various animalistic sounds emanate from the cave's main opening. But if that's where you're going next on your adventure, then I wish you all the best for what you might have found down there. Okay, anything else? Eager to know more? Well, I do have one more bit of info that might pique your interest while you're out there. When you do eventually leave these woods, you'll need to enter the island's vast mountain range at the upper path ahead. Upon entry, continue to take the first path you see forward until you reach a cliff facing left of you. Climb it, and you'll meet a rather interesting character. A pink dragon explorer resides atop that area of the cliffside. I'd recommend going there if you ever feel like needing a small break from your adventure. Never hurts to blow off some steam after a long day of exploring along with definitely brightening up his day by meeting eagerly adventurous folk like yourself. Okay, see you later. I, I guess we'll keep exploring. So now we've got a map, that's that's the main thing. But I'm just gonna murder more people on my path. I'll get myself nice and powerful looking. But actually, a bit it is. Are there more things I can do? Can I do something to have so I can carry more? Increase the damage of your combo finisher. Do I have one of those? So what should I do? Consume more fat when casting fireballs. Increases magical damage. Increase the explosion area of your egg bomb. That sounds pretty good. Well, I think for now I'll just work on my health. They don't cost too much to upgrade. So if I sit down... I haven't got... Okay, I'll, I'll shrink a bit. That's good, right? Wait, these, these look dangerous. Hang on. 
I'm trying to work out when they're in front and when they're behind. Oh, I don't know. I'll just take hits. Bam. Ow. Bam. That's it. I can see these mushrooms. That means that there is a, a big mushroom for me to collect somewhere. Hang on. Get, get me up here. Big jumps. No. That looks dangerous. No. Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? No, no. I've got to take a seat after that. I've got to take a seat after that. Yeah, so that seems to be the thing. If if I'm overfilled, I'm going to explode. That ain't a good time. I do not want that. So if there are things that are going to essentially force feed me, it's that kind of game. And we don't want that. That's a that's not an ideal thing. Oh, we got to nail these jumps very cleanly. But if I can get the timing, I should be good. That's it. This thing does not feel pain. It does not recoil or anything when I hit it. Okay, go. There we go. I'm just following these mushrooms. No. Keep going. Keep going. That's the one I wanted. Capacity up. That's good. That's it. I'm... Oh, retreat, retreat, retreat. Get out of here. Can I drop down? Yes, I can. There we go. But this is a problem, isn't it? Let's ugh, get around that thing. I don't want it. Ow, ow, bees. No. Be gone, bees. Do not. Thank you. I can't even beat up the, the hive, can I? No. Wait, that was a trap. That was a trap I just stepped on. Get up here. What is that? A little mushroom. Oh, hey. You a friend? Hey, traveller. Can I ask for a favour? What do you need? I've been hearing excessive arguing along the path above. I don't want to proceed until I know it's safe. Can you check it out? So, wait, someone's having an argument up here. There's a piggy dude. Ow, ow. I need a guard button. I think that would help me a lot, but I don't think I'll get one. Is someone having an argument up here? Hang on. All oh, these jumps are tricky. Nope. You just got to get the timing down good. That's it. That's it. That's what I wanted. What is this giant treasure chest? Thank you very much. Good money. Good money. But I think I'm a bit too full now. Oh, I'm, I'm a big stomper stomp. But my health is not good. So if I sit and I just chill here, my health goes up. So I digest the food and my health improves. Now I'm starting to learn exactly what's good here. I've got an egg power and a fire power. So I've got to constantly monitor my stats and see what I need to be doing. So I'm on the mountain path. Map. Oh wow. Okay, sure. Just, just keep climbing, shall we? So what's this way? Katora's flight course? Do I want to fly? Hello, Katara? Are you not here? I guess not. I'll just help myself. It's, it's fine. It's no problem. Yo. Oh, hey. Are you the pink dragon we got told about? Hey, stranger. Yo, I'm Katara. As you may have seen from my sign, I'm operating a flight course. A flight course? Indeed. This island has so many unique wonders and facets to it. There was a lot of work with setting up my course. It has action, peril and suspense. And best of all, rewards. <laughs> Sounds interesting. How does it work? Well, clearly flight is not a trait many have to enjoy. I provide my students with a magic potion that inflates them and gives them an upward lift. The effect can be enhanced by food items during the course, but can also be weakened by getting knocked around. The key is to keep your inflation level at a comfortable balance. All you need to do is drift in the direction you want to go and make it to the end. <laughs> Sounds like a fun experience. Sure is. Talk to me again and we'll arrange a run through the course. Okay, I guess we'll try. Are you interested in trying it out? Okay. Sure. Remember, it's just like Kirby. First up is the piglins. Watch out for arrows. Three, two, one, go. Wait, so do I collect the apples? Is this what I want to do? Okay, so I, obviously I don't want to get hit by arrows. I'll take the coins though. Oh god. Ow! Give me the give me the chicken. That's it. Apple. Coin. Coin? 
dodging shit. Is there a what, what is the, what's the dino fizz? Ow! Oh, he gonna stab me. They're gonna shoot me. No. Oh, dodge. Nice dodge. Give me that. I'll take it. Wait, am I going left or right? I should have gone left, but I'm going right. I'll take these apples. Apples is good. I'm guessing the fizz is like a super-sized one. Let's go right this time. Ow, 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 ow. Give me all of these. I'm still fine. I'm still making it through. I wonder if I can make it to the end. Oh, God. Ah, no. Give me the fizz. Fizz. I'm so close. That's it. Oh, God. Ow. Watermelon. Thank you. Watermelon is good. This guy's going to stab through. Ow. Is it the same rules apply if I overeat? Do I explode? God damn. I can make it. Maybe? How far? How big is this thing? I'm collecting lots of stuff. That's good. And there is a treasure chest. I think I just about, just about made it. Wow. Do I keep those coins, please? Wow, you're a really talented floater. I can't believe you knocked out my entire course. Well done. Yay. Are you interested in trying the course? Uh, no, I think, I think I'll leave that for now. But I got a lot of money. So that counts, doesn't it? Is there a checkpoint nearby? I, I don't think that would hurt, having a checkpoint. No? All I want is a checkpoint. Now I've done some stuff, I don't really want to risk losing it. Because if I get killed, that's pretty punishing. I can't. I can't get up there? Nope. Can't do it. So I guess we'll work our way back down. So there was a person who said there was... He could hear arguing. Oh, here we go. Leave our land, runt. Do it, or get pummeled. I have a pretty good feeling it isn't yours. Are you getting saucy with us? Look, I'm just trying to pass through. Now, if you just, uh, enough warnings, get him. Oh, boy. Wait. We're being flanked. Um, none, oh, God, what's that? Do not. Oh, God, he gonna hit, he gonna hit. Take out the snipers. Always take out the snipers. They are dead. Oh god, no. Ah, no. Ow, ow, I'm dead. What was I saying about wanting a checkpoint? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All the way back here. Have I got to do the flying stuff again? Okay, let's, let's just run up there and see, see what happens. Okay, I've gone straight here. I'm smaller this time, so hopefully that means I'm going to be more difficult to hit. Ow! God! No. 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 Okay, I got I gotta take these guys out. I, I just I just wanted to eat someone. I'm about to die. I I'm out about to die. I'm dead! This game difficult! <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? Ow, god. So obviously Ah, no. No. I got Got to use my magic or something. Killed one guy. Killed two guys. Now I've got to be really careful. No, I can't even touch him. I can't even touch him. I've got to be so accurate with my timing and jumps. Ah, here we go. Is this attempt number four? Any more than this? I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose track. Ow! If, if I can get rid of those guys at least. There we go. Oh God, the timing you, you need. Okay, I've got to land in front of him. That's it! It shouldn't have been that hard. Uh, you okay? Oh, yeah, thanks. For a second there, I thought I'd got into some serious trouble. No problem. The pigs are nothing but bullies. They've been terrorising my people for some time now, at least half an hour. Well, from how they treated me a second ago, I believe you. I was only looking for a place to rest. My village isn't far from here. It's much safer. And you'll be welcome with open arms. Awesome. I really owe you one. Uh, Munch. Name's Key. I travel and sell merchandise. I also know some tricks. As a token of my appreciation, I'll teach you how to wall jump. Here's the secret. Ooh, I can wall jump now. That's, that's really good. Using tough grip strength, you can also slide down walls slowly. I'll be able to teach you more abilities for a fee. I guess I'll set up shop in your village. Oh yeah, and here's one more gift. Shroom, I'll take it. Thanks, man. Oh, I see. 
That's it. So, okay, got it. I'm up here. My health is not good. Was it 39 out of 115? But we did a thing. So does that mean that I can now get up here? Yeah, and I couldn't before. That's nice. Ow, ow, no, don't die. Food? It's a radish or a daikon or something. Hey, hey, hey. How goes the exploration? Ah, uh, pretty good. I can't seem to breach this strange ancient gate though. Uh, could it be shattered? I have to pass through here to reach the mountain's peak. Not likely. It appears to need a particular keystone. The keystones mimic electromagnetic switches, but with a different kind of energy. Judging by its age, I'm sure someone in the village might know of its origins. Okay, I'll figure it out. So I can't go through here until I've got a particular key or item or something. Does that mean I've got to backtrack? Is, that, is this what this is saying to me? I mean, my health is poor. If I sit down, I've got a little bit of food in me. But not enough, I don't think, to charge up my food. So, I'll just keep going. So, no. Do not. I need food. So, if I sit, that's it. And that's, that's all the health I've got. I'm one touch from death. One touch from death. Hey, it's safe up there now. Thanks for clearing the issue up. I'll rest for a bit and move on. You do that. So... That's a bad time. I'm going this way. Or should I go back to the village? Who's this? Wow. That must be one of the village cows. Sure is big. What's all that about, shrimp? Oh. I thought you might have been one of the farmers. Farm? Ah. Oh, do I look like a conformist consumerism machine? My job is to fracture skulls, and I'm damn good at it. Oh, sheesh. Sorry. I'll just squeeze by, please. No can do. You look like good warm-up material. Put them up. Oh, no. Cool. No. Multiple punches. Was not ready. Shouldn't have picked that fight. He tired, though. Hmm. Oh, the, the checkpoint system. Where am I? Oh, God. Have I got to go do that other... It wasn't even a boss fight, was it? It wasn't even a boss fight. But hopefully, it remembers key things that I do. And it's just a regular exploring that doesn't work as well. Okay, we'll, we'll have to find out. That's it, get, get rid of this pig. Because if you look at my coins and my experience, which I should probably be spending, but I'm not. Oh god, that's it. Oh no, I got my wall jump. So yeah, I definitely kept some things. Shall I fight this cow dude again? That's that aubergine and a tomato, I think that was. Hey cow man. That's it. He does, was it three? One. One, two, three. Then he's tired. Then he's tired. That's it. Get in there while he's tired. Yeah. I'll hurt you. I'll hurt you some more. I got you. I got you. And, oh, oh, oh I killed him. I ate him proper. That was a big, big tasty meal. I am through. Okay, I'm in the forked path. So I'm, I'm just sitting for a minute to like replenish my health a bit. But okay, how's it going? Hmm, this cliff seems impossible to climb. I heard the goat people know how to climb these steep walls. I wonder if they ever visited the island. They they might well have done because, you know, I've got reason to believe. So, do I get experience when I kill those things? It's probably my only reason to want to fight those. Ah, don't! Do not. Gotcha. I'll take your monies. I got a lot of money, actually. Where that corpse at? Oh, hey. You startled me, lizard man. Am I really that scary? Oh, um, no. I'm just a bit on edge. Something wrong. I was just trying to study the caves down below, but I got kicked out by the pigs. They're trying to claim the hoard of precious energy crystals rumored to be growing somewhere down there. They don't know the true educational value of such a discovery. <laughs> I could try and thin them out so you can get back to your work. Wait, that looks pretty blocked off though. Yeah, a big fat pig barricaded this entrance to keep intruders out. It looks like you'd need to produce huge impact to break the wall free. Hmm, I'm sure I can figure it out. I'll come back later. I'm guessing if I'm like super size, I could do something. There, my pig that I killed earlier. I'll just quickly munch that dude. I've got no idea where I am. 
Run, little piggy. Run, little piggy. So, up or down? Where am I? I'm down there somewhere. I'm so lost. Ow! I, I just killed him. Ah, dude. No. No. Just run. Just run. Where am I going now? It's a resting area. I'll take that. Okay, I'll just murder some guys on my way. Hey. These pigs are resourceful, but also very lazy. Most of them will leave themselves open for attack. Yep, and I'll take that checkpoint. And I'll get my health and everything. There's a mushroom! Missed it. Pig house? Okay. I'm just walking through. I'm skipping all kinds of stuff. Is there something in the ground there? What is that? Hey, yo, yo, well, who are you and what you doing here? Wow, it's a talking plant monster thingy. <laughs> hey, that's not cool. Might be a plant, but nothing like these rude biters. <laughs> So, you're not going to bite my head and feed me slime? <laughs> nah, that's no fun. I found another vibe. Music. <laughs> you can call me Beat, buddy. Okay. So, you're new here, aren't you? Yeah, but I think I'm doing fine. Yeah, sure. Just be careful out there. There's a huge pit of sap slimes ahead. Those saps are the source of power for us plants, but won't be that good for little wimps like you. Just don't fall down and try to stay on the platforms. Hey, I'm not a wimp. Well, well, sure you are. Don't forget to pay yourself up, spend an XP. Open your menu and select ability to do that. Okay, thanks. Glad to be a help. That's a friend! Okay, so I should probably heed that advice. I got sharp punches, can now critically strike for a 50% additional damage. Punches can now heal you for a small amount, that's kind of cool. Healing food. Food items now heal some HP as well. I'll, I'll probably, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, wait, where am I? Am I going the wrong way? Where am I supposed to be going? Do I need to go back to home base? So if I go back to home base, maybe I can level up a bit or something. But yeah, this is actually quite a fun game. It's a bit of a Metroidvania. I think there's going to be a little bit of toing and froing, and I think the fighting. What is this? No. What is this guy? No, I'll, I'll hurt him. I've not seen this guy before. He's wearing armor. And I do not appreciate. I do not appreciate. I'll definitely eat that guy. But yeah, obviously it's it's got a bit of a, a weird, couple of weird aspects to it. But it's completely fine. It's completely playable and kind of fun. And pretty harmless, let's face it. But I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I think I'm going to have to have a little bit of a look around. And work out what my next step is going to be. But for now, this is Usho signing off. Happy New Year, and hopefully I will see you next time.